Gadgets Field Trip. We're going on a visit. Inspector Gadgets Field Trip. Come on, let's go with him. Inspector Gadgets Field Trip. What's that you ask? What is it? Inspector Gadgets Field Trip. Well, no one wants to miss it. Start at the top. Go, go, Gadget Copter! As my great uncle Trolley Gadget always said, the cable cars of San Francisco are among the world's most unique gadgets. It's the best way to get up and down San Francisco's 43 huge hills. It's got more hills than I have uncles. Almost. Aha! I think I've tracked down a cable car. All hands on deck. It's time to tote that cable, turn that car. San Francisco cable cars carry 9.6 million passengers a year. Fortunately, not all at once. Why is this thing so quiet? Where's the engine on this thing? Aha! Just as I suspected. Cables. Would you believe there are 23 miles of cable running under these streets? Would you believe a hamster on a treadmill? Get a grip. According to my top secret investigation, one person controls the cable car, and he's called a grip man. I just hope his grip grabs good. Don't gripe about the grip guy because he controls the grip under the cable car. The grip grabs onto the underground rotating steel cables, pulling the cable car up and down the hills. But the grip man must release the grip at intersections. That's how he makes the cable car stop. If he doesn't let go, well, they could become cable submarines. And here's where it all begins. The Cable Car Control Center, also known as the Cable Car Museum, Powerhouse, Car Barn, and Barbershop. I just call it the end of the line. Here in this underground viewing room, you can see the heart and soul of the cable car system. This is where the lines begin and the cables start spinning. Don't grab onto these cables or you'll leave more than your Bionic caught in San Francisco. All the cable cars are run by these huge revolving cable wheels. It all started here in 1887. These cables must be pretty dizzy by now. I was dizzy before we started. Those cable wheels are the ultimate gadget. You can see lots of old models of cable cars, the wheels and even the gears that ran the old cables. 
looks like a spare parts store for the Gadget family. The old inspector is always on the lookout for crooks, so my Gadget logic has led me to Lombard Street. It's been called the crookedest street in the world. Now if I can adjust my Gadget handcuffs to fit it. Wait, those aren't crooks. They're tourists. And how do they get to the top of Lombard Street? Very carefully. Lombard Street is not only the crookedest street, it's also one of the steepest. That's why they made it so crooked. Eight switchbacks were created so you could travel down this hill from side to side and not fall flat on your face. Go, go, gadget rollerblades! Don't try this at all! field trip fact. A cable car travels about the same speed as a chicken on the run. At nine and a half miles an hour, they can outrun it. My investigation has brought us here to San Francisco's beautiful Palace of Fine Arts. Oh, there's no king or queen, just exhibits and stuff. It's the only building left standing from the World Fair in 1915. And that's lucky for us because it now houses San Francisco's Exploratorium at the Palace of Fine Arts. Let's investigate. Go, go, gadget magnifying glass. Wowzers. They call this a museum? It looks like my great uncle Gizmo Gadget's x-rays. The Exploratorium is a fun museum of science, art, and human perception. There are about 650 exhibits here that let you explore the world around you. Let's investigate. Wowzers, a real twister. If you're from Kansas, this will make you feel right at home. It's an eight foot tall fog tornado. Vents on either side blow the fog around and around. If you get stuck inside, you wouldn't spin around, you'd go straight up. Just like Toto. Whoa! Get me out of here! There's something you don't see every day. Inside out fish. This place is electrifying. Don't worry, that blue light isn't sending shock waves through this young volunteer, but her hand is conducting electricity. I wonder if she can conduct a symphony. Wowzers! Look, Mom, no legs! Oh, it's just an anti-gravity mirror. Either this room is distorted or my gadgets are backing up on me. Luckily, the old inspector has a logical explanation. It's an optical illusion. This is the world's biggest bubblegum blower. But it doesn't use gum. It uses soapy water to make bubbles big enough to wash a buffalo. You can even make your own kaleidoscope rock video at the Recollections exhibit. Until next time, so long, Exploratorium. Chinatown beckons. After a whirlwind tour of the Exploratorium, there's nothing like tea and fortune cookies in San Francisco's Chinatown. Or is that cookies and fortune tea? Oh, well. The Chinese people and their culture are a very important part of San Francisco life. San Francisco's Chinatown has the largest Chinese community outside of Asia. This is where the Far East meets the Far Out West. Whenever I'm in Chinatown, I like to get some warm fortune cookies at the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Factory. That's where the cookie crumbles. Actually, I don't believe in fortunes, unless they're really good ones. As my grandfather, Butane Gadget, once said, if you can't stand the heat, get off the fortune cookie griddle. Yowch! Yikes! He was right. Amazing! First, the batter is squirted onto a hot griddle. 
the cookie makers peel off the hot cookies, insert the fabulous fortune, and bend the baked batter. And of course, don't forget the taste tester. Not for the fortune, for the cookie. Aha! Here's a secret message for the old inspector. Confucius say good times ahead for Inspector Gadget's field trip. Hmm. Obviously a secret coded message. We'll decipher the fortune codes later, but we can eat the cookies now. Wow! I had a great time on our field trip. Careening on cable cars, cautiously cruising down crooked streets, exploring the Exploratorium, and cracking the case of the Fortune Cookie Factory. Until next time, go, go, Gadget Field Trip! Peek.